I don't remember the first time I learned how to walk. I assume my mom had something to do with it. The second time was just a couple years ago. That tale starts, like many a good tale, with baseball. I got to a company that did lunchtime baseball. Always wanted to do that at work, but I found out something. I couldn't run to first base. Uh, now, I, I'm no athlete, but I was biking. I was doing a lot of things, but pushing off my foot hurt, and this was new. Now, I have this doctor friend who says, at a certain age, everyone should just be issued a hot tub and a physical therapist. I chose the one insurance would pay for. So off to PT, physical therapy I go out, and I learn I have an injury with my Achilles tendon. Uh, some injury, I don't know what, and I have tendonitis. So I start learning a whole bunch of routines and stretches, and a couple months later, I feel really good. Until three years later, same problem pops up, a little bit more pain, back to physical therapy, learn more exercises, more things about my body, feel pretty good. Until three years later, the same problem pops up, and it really hurts now. This is pain. I need to do something besides physical therapy. I'm not getting any younger. This is where procrastination has worked beautifully for me. If I'd had surgery years before, I would have a two-inch scar on the back of my foot. This is the scar I have. I'm lying. That's dry skin. The scar is the size of a freckle. You don't even see it. That's because I qualified for this sports medicine procedure. Don't worry about the name. Everybody calls it Tenex. I qualify because they say, I've had this injury for decades, and it's been injured and scarred and injured and scarred, that it's just a bunch of scar tissue down there. So with Tenex, the doctor is going to zap. That's his word. He's going to take a ultrasound tool and put it into my foot and zap the scar tissue. Zap, 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 zap. Like a video game in my foot. Zap, 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 zap. And then the tendon will heal naturally afterwards. The procedure's a little over an hour. I go out. Now, I have a lot of rules I have to follow to make sure it does naturally. First rule, don't do anything stupid, like go water skiing five days later, like one of his clients did. Had to wear a boot for a while. And the th one of the other things was I should get into a water therapy machine. And that sounded pretty cool. And it is. It's called HydroWorks. Imagine a treadmill sunk into a pool. There's bars you can hold on to. And then as you walk on the treadmill, there's jets. And it's harder to walk. Now, there's cameras down there. So I and the physical therapist can see what's going on. So I get in. The jets are going. I'm walking. And the therapist says almost right off the bat, oh, you're duck-toed. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm duck-toed. Duck-toed, pigeon-toed, duck-toed. I've been a lifelong duck-footer. I'm pretty sure I'm a professional duck-footer at this point. And she says, well, in order for your tendon to heal naturally, you need to walk more properly. And I'm thinking, how many years of therapy is that going to take? <laughs> and she says, one sentence, walk through your big toe. As I walk, I lead with my big toe. And the last thing off the ground is my big toe. Big toe, big toe, big toe, big toe. And I look down the pool and I'm walking straight. And as I recover and do a lot of walking while I'm not doing anything stupid, I go big toe, big toe, big toe, and I walk straight. And of course, after a while, I don't need to say big toe or look down. I'm walking straight. All because of one sentence and one simple action. And it made me think, what else can I learn by a sentence or a simple action? I mean, I learned how to walk properly for the first time in my life. A couple years ago, I, and I'll bet you a lot of you, we learned to properly wash our hands for the first time. <laughs> I can't wait to find out what I learned this year. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps when I do, 
I'll come back and I'll tell you about it. Thank you.